Good morning and welcome to my hobby table. As you can see, I've got something very special on the table today. And this is a Ron Sexton engine test stand. Now, it's interesting, there's an interesting story about how I came to acquire this. Uh, nine days ago or so, I posted a, a video on an FA-150 engine run. And a viewer commented and asked the question about whether I'd ever heard of a Ron Sexton test stand. And at that time when I read the comment, I wasn't, it didn't ring a bell to me. So I went and did a search and found one on eBay, which is where he sells these things. I don't know if he has another website or not, I don't know. But uh, I had seen these things for many years, many years, you know, many years. Ever since I've been running this channel, I've seen these stands. But I always had the PSP test stand and I was like, well, I don't really need this test, th this test stand. But it was also one of those things where you see it on eBay, and if you don't buy it right away, it's gone. Because he doesn't mass produce these things. These are all handmade. And I don't believe in coincidences at all. I believe everything happens for a reason. And there's a reason for me to have this stand because that person that commented on the video spurred me to go and look for this. There just so happened to be one on eBay. I purchased it, and now they're gone again. And I don't know how often he puts one up, but I know in the past years when I'd see one, when it was sold, it was gone for a while. So anyway, this is a quick look at this stand and what all you get with it. Now this is a small stand. Now in the eBay ad, it didn't specify large or small, and I wasn't sure what I was really getting. But first, I got all this paperwork here. So here's a, here's a, a piece of paper that explains the contents of the screws in this bag and the washers and stuff. And then here's another notice of a change he had made, an upgrade he had made to this stand. And then here's where it says that this is the small stand. And it says it's designed to hold two and four cycle engines that have beam mounting, will hold engines uh, up to two cubic inches, which we will test that here, and uh, small gasoline engines. But uh, it's a beautiful stand. It's obviously handcrafted. And then there's a couple other you know, sheets of paper here that talk about various things so it's it's very well documented so here is the stand and it came exactly like this it was uh, this the push rod throttle push rod was on top of a whole bunch of padding there's a whole bunch of padding in fact I made an open box video last night but I wasn't feeling very well and I rambled and it was just a horrible video so I decided I'm just gonna do this this quick look video but as you can see here it's just beautiful. I'm not gonna flip it over completely yet because there's something on the bottom I wanna show you, but here's that long push rod. And so obviously here's where you mount the engine and it's got these nice T-channel, I guess you'd call it a T-channel or a channel rail. But when in the video or in the ad, this thing was like this. So, and I was like, well, it looks like it's set up for, you know, right hand throttle only. But he's like, no, you know, you can change it around. And of course, look at this, it's beautiful. So obviously some engines have throttle on the right side, some have them on the left side, if you're facing from the rear. And this is the throttle control thing here. Obviously this is where you mount your tank. But I didn't know it was so easy to just say, oh, okay, different tank, different tank orientation, different throttle orientation, whatever. So, I mean, this thing is just beautiful. I like this, and I know many people have commented that, you know, you need to get some kind of better control for your your throttle, and of course, I understood that. I knew that. I just never felt like doing it. Well, now I've got a little bit better control. So the question I had initially, and maybe some of you are having now, is, is this going to replace my PSP test stand? Because those of you that watch my channel know that I have... Um, stands on both sides of my Black & Decker workmate? And the answer is no, it's not going to because uh, the PSP is still going to be useful to me. I mean, I'll probably use this primarily. I'll put this in place of the other smaller stand, but uh, the PSP is useful because it's the only way, it's the only stand I've got that has a vertical upright, which is very important to me because I have to mount that's the only way I can mount multi-cylinder engines and or, and or radial engines. 
So I just wanted to kind of throw my this Sato FA220 on here real quick and kind of I don't know it says it can go up to two cubic inch this might be a little bit nerve-wracking I'll really have to torque those down obviously I'm not running the engine now but so it does fit on here this is what it would look like on here and you can see the the side channels here very nice. I mean, I'm really, really impressed with this stand. I'm really super glad that I purchased this. Obviously, this isn't going to hold it at all because I don't have it torqued down. But I mean, it does look like it's capable of it. I, I think when I, should I choose to run that particular engine on this, I'm going to be a little bit hesitant, I think. Uh, now, Ron has in this bag, he included lock nuts, which is one of the notes in there locking nuts to put on here just in case you don't feel comfortable with that which for that engine i might actually use that so anyway quick look at this stand do i recommend this stand i haven't even used the stand and of course i recommend it i could recommend this stand from just the looking at the ad and tell you that it's a high quality stand worthy of you know purchase if you're more like me and you like to do a lot of engine runs. I mean, if you're a, really more of an avid modeler, flyer, and uh, you fly more, then maybe the cost of this isn't really, I'll just take those off for now, maybe the cost of this isn't really worth, uh, worth your while. But here's something on the bottom that I thought was really special. It says the stand man, R. Sexton, has got his email address and then the date that this thing was manufactured. I think that's really cool. So in closing, I want to say that uh, I want to just simply add that I'm also announcing right now that I will be doing engine servicing once again. So I come up with a new set of uh, prices to reflect uh, what I believe my time is worth. And any of those of you that viewers and subscribers that are interested in having bearings changed on an engine or whatever, just contact me and I'll send you um, the new document that I put together for my engine servicing and the things that I'll be doing and that type of stuff. So that's all for now. That's this Ron Sexton test stand and hopefully I'll get this out on the mounted on my Black & Decker workmate here soon. I'd like to get this in play before winter sets in so I can actually get some runs on this and, and do a, a real test of the stand and its functionality but I mean it, I'm sure it's going to function beautifully so anyway thank you all for watching